What's up, people? Welcome back to the Wednesday morning tournament. One more week rolling solo here. Our boy Gavin's down in Colombia in the South American Championships at the moment, along with a bunch of other pals uh, doing well down there in, uh, in a fun event, what it sounds like. Uh, welcome to all of you. Thank you for staying up late or waking up early for this program. We have you connecting from all over the place. Uh, and we have a first hand here that's pretty interesting, actually. We, we see it goes past one diamond, and we're faced with a choice right away with this hand. So in a best hand tournament, especially when you have a hand that's this good, you usually want to find an excuse to bid, and here we have a pretty normal bid of two clubs. However, in a realistic situation... You know, you don't love a two-club overcall here, right? You'd prefer to have a six-card suit. Um, the hand is good enough, likely, in any situation to be bidding. The suit's excellent. Um, you just, you know, you, you should be a little more timid with your overcalls um, than many of you are. And we've talked about this before. But here, I mean, it's just too impossible to resist a normal two-club bid. And now, okay, three clubs, three diamonds. So let's, let's take a second. Let's kind of get a lay of the land here. We have 13 points, right? So... So let's do a couple of quick calculations. We're we're not going to do anything, obviously, but uh, this is just helpful stuff, right? So let's give let's give our right hand opponent twelve. They can have up to thirteen because that's how many we have. That's twenty five. This is supposed to be like ten plus points. Now that's fit points as well, but let's just give them ten and see what we're dealing with here. Thirteen, twenty five, thirty five. Partner doesn't have much, and, and obviously partner has had a chance to bid and hasn't shown anything, but just understand that that's kind of what's going on here. We can't be unhappy about this. The opponents are playing three of a minor, right? They're, well, let's see if they bid anything else. Okay, they're not getting to three no trump, and now it's our opening lead. And let me tell you something, folks. When you have these cards in a suit contract, it, consider it a gift from the opening lead bridge gods, right? So in this situation... We're always going to lead ace from ace king if we're playing kind of our normal agreement. Usually people are playing ace from ace king. The robot, however, plays king from ace king. So we're going to lead the king here. And we're going to get to see the dummy. And here we go. Look at this. King four, deuce three. Right. So when you see this, first off, we can now be more certain with our point totals. Right. So now we know left-hand opponent has 11 high card points. Let's still give this player 12. Let's give us 13. 25, 36, partner has at most four points. And, and sorry, they have at least three and at most four. <laughs> so, so in this case, um, or sorry, they might have at most five, excuse me. But uh, they, they do not have a lot of points is what we're trying to say. And these spots here, we would expect partner with a double tin to be encouraging. Now, I don't. the robots don't really play a lot of attitude, but here is what we would be looking for in a realistic situation, right? We happen to know that... We have eight clubs, or we can see eight clubs, five in our hand, three in the dummy. So we're, we're going to be wondering, hey, are you getting a rough partner? Are you going to be trumping this club? And it doesn't look like it, right? If partner had a the ability to trump, they should encourage this suit. They should say, hey, I like it. Now, they may be doing that with this deuce, but here, I think they're they're... They signal enough that I think they would signal something here, but I, I guess I, I can't say that for sure, right? We, we know they signal count situations, but here it's it's a little frustrating that they can't be helpful. But on, on this spot, I'm going to try not to give up tricks, and I'm also going to try something I seem to look that seems to look relatively safe, and that would be a spade. When the dummy is on your left, right, so it's it's over here for us right now, we usually want to be leading through the strength if we don't have anything clear to lead. Now, it's the, the reason we don't want to lead a club is we don't necessarily want to set up the queen for a trick while we haven't set up anything for our side. So if our partner has the king of spades, uh, we're, we're likely setting up a trick for them here. If not, you know, we didn't really give up anything in this spot. That's a finesse that they could have taken themselves. Here we go. They're drawing some trump, and it looks like partner has it most two diamonds. Uh, they only had one. Okay, good. So that, that makes it even less likely that partner was roughing clubs, <laughs> which is good. Uh, we know partner has the queen of spades, right? So, so 11, 12, 23, 36, 38. So partner has it most like two or three points left. Um, I suppose those points could be in hearts, right? But they would have to be really the king of hearts for it to be helpful for us. Um, so in this situation, what do we do? Well, I'm not really that sure, folks. We can – right-hand opponent has five diamonds, right? So they have five diamonds. Let's say they have, I don't know, two clubs. 
this is their most likely shape when we know they have exactly five of a suit. Uh, and this is just kind of the math, folks. When someone has exactly five of a suit, their other shapes in their suits rate to be like 3 3 2 ish. Um, if they have three clubs and something else, it's kind of the same deal. So at this point, I don't necessarily want to be on lead again. I'm going to cash my diamond. Partner pitches a club, and I'm just going to get out a spade. The suit I've already led, and hopefully that will not be giving them extra tricks. And now what I'm, what I'm hoping they eventually have to do is lead a heart themselves. And, okay, <laughs> they're going to pitch. Oh, sorry, they're just going to play diamonds. Here, I'm just protecting a heart. It doesn't matter. They're just going to get rid of the club. And there it is, folks. They could have done this a long time ago. They didn't need to wait till now. And they've set up those tricks. And we have taken only four tricks. And we've achieved pretty much average. Something you would expect on a hand where it's just the robots bidding. Um, they're popping off about 53.6%. And look at this, folks. We rarely see this sort of result at the first board. If you're being normal, you are just getting 53.6%. If you're being a little out of whack, you either are getting a bad result, which this person did, or you're getting a really good one. We're lucky this time that... You know, this player that uh, did something weird got the bad results, right? And we got the normal one. And that's just being with the field, folks. We didn't really do anything brilliant. We overcalled. We let them play three diamonds like we should. And we took our tricks. Very good stuff. Uh, so here, what we were talking about initially, and David Devine, thank you so much for that super chat, my friend. Uh, when we look at this, if partner had, let's say, 10-5, right? That was their holding, and we lead the king or the ace, they would like it, and then we would know to lead ace, king, and then a third club, right? So that's the way it's supposed to work in reality, which is why the deuce is the perfect card. They want to tell us, look, you don't have to cash that king now. I'm not getting any trump. If we have side suit winners, we should probably take them. And here it looks like, um, oh, I guess we possibly, if we let a heart at some point, we could have collected some tricks. Um but they can always set up a club for a heart pitch, right? So, so here, once we lead the ace or king of clubs, there it goes, right? They're, they're going to be able to pitch away their heart loser on that long club there. And Jackie, thank you so much for that super chat as well. I like this. We're starting off with lots of super chats. Thank you guys so much. It's motivating stuff right here. Uh, this looks like 18, I think. Uh, and 18 here. Well, yeah, June 8, let's take a look. Even if we lead a heart initially... Right. They yeah, we have to lead a heart and then pump a heart when we get in with a club to do it. But I mean, look at that choice of leads. Every human being that isn't like looking at the hand is going to lead the ace or king of clubs. Right. It's just it's that gift. Right. It's that it's that lead that's not going to blow up anything and is likely going to lead to, you know, getting to see the dummy and making a good choice afterwards. All right. Sweet. Let's keep dancing. This is 18. As we said, we're going to open a diamond. Our choices here will. Well, our initial choice was to open a diamond, hear a response from partner, and rebid to no trump. I want to see what you guys want to do with this one. I'm going to give you um, a few choices here. Uh, it's time for you guys have woken me up with the super chats. It's time for me to wake you up with a choice. I want you to make your bid. And I'm going to give you a couple of choices here. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that. And I'm going to give you the one we, we were going to. Oops. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to crash that poll because I didn't give you enough choices. So ignore that, folks. Let me give you the third choice here. The, those are going to be the two, the three choices right there. Two spades, double, and then a third choice is going to be two no trump, which is the bid we kind of thought we were going to make initially, right, if partner had responded. So I want you to make your choice here. And there's a few people that are typing in their bids. That's fine as well. But now that the poll is up, make your choice. And this is a really, uh, this should be the same pretty much always. But it's worth a discussion here for sure. I'm sure all of you, or most of you that were in the Midwest slash U.S. territories were checking out the eclipse the other day. Uh Pretty cool stuff. Ephraim, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate that as well. And let's cut the poll off. And we see that, uh, well, a lot of you are paying attention to good bridge philosophy here. Double is absolutely right. So here's the deal. Um, first of all, we have a great shape for this double. But second of all, whenever we're relatively short in the suit that they've overcalled, right? So when it goes opening bid, 
overhaul of a suit, check, check back to us or pass, pass. Excuse me, I'm going to my poker terms here. We, we usually want to reopen the auction with a double. And this is to cover the times where our partner may be sitting over there licking their chops with a good club holding and they want to play defense, right? Uh, the other part is if, if they don't want to play defense, we're forcing them to bid and we have many places for us to play. So here is our double reopening the auction. And now they bid three clubs, right? So, so clearly partner didn't want to double for penalty because now they could have brought the hammer down there. Um, do we bid again? I, I like bidding again here, right? I, I have too good of a hand to let this go. And partner has a lot of hands where we could make a lot of tricks and just didn't have the opportunity to bid at the two level. So here we're going to reopen with double one more time. Still should be takeout. And now what should we do, folks? When partner chooses hearts, what is your bid here? And I forced this on us, by the way. I didn't take a poll. I'm just not willing to settle when I have 18 reasonable points here. Uh, but what do we do now? Good, folks. Uh, sli sliding in there very quickly. Of course we pass, right? We forced this action on partner, right? We said, partner, you have to do this. This three heart bit isn't, oh, yeah, now let's keep talking, partner. No, it's, hey, you told me to do this and we're here. We might only have a seven card fit for all we know. Let's see that we do. We only have a seven card fit. And wow, partner's hand is just a bag of hammers. But it's not that it's not even that hopeless for us right now. Um, I think we're going to play the ace of clubs for sure at the start here. And remember, left hand opponent has a whole bunch of clubs and probably some some values there. Um, so let's think about it. Left hand opponent has probably king, queen, king, queen, jack of clubs. They they only have uh, where am I over here? There we go. King Queen Jack or King Queen something of clubs. They have at most the Jack of Diamonds. That's six. They could have some hard honors and the spade position is kind of unknown as well. So not in a, not in a great spot here. But if we can get maybe a, a fair break in in the heart suit, we may have a shot. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna try to set up a spade trick or two and hopefully the Queen of Spades is on side. Okay, that's nice. All right, so now that we've kind of popped some losers off here, I think we can draw some trump and try to escape for, like, down one here. This is going to go pitch a diamond. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right. We are now just going to play the ace of hearts. Uh, wow, that ten of hearts is interesting. Jack of hearts. Let's hope we get a little crash there. Okay, at least we've developed a heart trick. They're going to tap us out here, unfortunately. Okay, that's not the worst case scenario. Drawing one round of Trump with that queen. And now, folks, okay, good. So now they've gotten their roughs. We can now rough this. And that should be a claim for us. Ah, too bad. All right, so three hearts down one is us kind of bidding again and me forcing that on us and getting 21.4%. And there's, there's the best result there, folks, those people that just let them play three clubs. We're just getting in a couple of tricks here, and that is certainly the best option on this hand. Maybe we're a little bit uh, aggressive in this red territory, but honestly, that uh, that hand by lefty is pretty darn good. We get a little lucky on this one with this position as far as the honors are. The spade position is pretty nice, but the rest of the hand's just a disaster, unfortunately. So here we bought kind of the worst we possibly could, and going down just gives us that bad result. There we go. Somebody, <laughs> at least somebody pushed it a little more than we did and bid three no Trump. Uh, so here, just letting them play three clubs. And that's the moral to the story so far, folks. Letting them play their contract was the pathway to the best result here. Uh, so, oh, oh well. Right? We're back in business here on board three. And we have a lot of time to make this up, right? So we, we have kind of a really deceptive 37.5 because the first board was tied for top with 53. So we're not too far behind here, folks. And we have nothing weird to do on this one. Just opening one diamond. Partner bids one heart, and here we're just going to rebid two diamonds. It's close. It's very close to wanting to bid three diamonds with a hand like this. Um, I just think with the quality of the suit, ace-queen empty, and the rest of the hand kind of having some scattered values, we're just going to bid two, but we'll we'll certainly be aggressive here. Ooh, let's, let's see what we want to do with this one, folks. Well, I don't think I need to make a poll for this one. Just sh tell me what bid you want to make here, folks. One diamond, your partner bid a heart. You rebid two diamonds, partner bid two no trump. What do you want to do here?
I could have put a few bids, I suppose, in a in a poll, but I just want to get your your gut reaction without popping any bids into your head. This should be this should be a three no Trump target for sure. When you have a really long and pretty good minor suit, uh, you you rate to take a whole bunch of tricks in no Trump, right? So so this diamond suit you and the shape of your hand might lead you to say, well. My goodness, we need to play in a suit, people. We can't be playing in no trump. That's exactly the opposite, right? If this was a major suit, you would try to steer the hand towards that major suit. But when it's a minor, my goodness, if partner has a couple diamonds over there, even if they have terrible diamonds, we still rate to take a whole bunch of tricks here. So definite three no trump. And also think of this partner made an invitational bid. What do you feel your hand evaluates to, right? Is it a hand that has full value or is it a hand that would not accept an invitation? So on top of our seven card diamond suit, we also have a solid 14 points, right? That's pretty good stuff. And look at this. We, we're we going to have a little bit of a transportation issue at some point. Um, but first off, I'm going to take this ace of spades. And let's count our winners. Right, so so this is an important exercise to do pretty much every time you play no trump, and especially here. <laughs> so um, I want you to be. We just took the ace of spades, right? so I want you to be very. Um, I want you to be optimistic and count your winners here. All right, so have some optimism. I don't. It doesn't require too much optimism, but but how many winners can we take from this point? Pretty uh, likely. Yeah, so that that's what I meant by the optimism. If, if we assume the heart suit's going to go for five tricks for us, which is pretty likely, right, having the top four, we have eight total winners, right? All the hearts, the two spades we've already taken, and the ace of diamonds. So the next question is, where are our extra tricks going to come from? And the answer is likely diamonds and maybe even a club in this situation. Uh, the, the weird part about this is we have serious transportation problems, right? We want to take all five hearts, but if we play a low heart to the ace and start playing diamonds first, now we're going to disrupt communication in hearts and maybe not realize all of our diamond tricks here. Uh, we may take all 13 tricks from this point as well, but we can't know that at this moment, right? So here we're going to play the jack of hearts. We're going to play a heart to the ace. We're going to play the king of hearts. And I'm going to throw away a diamond, folks. Notice I can always I can throw away all three of my clubs at this point if I want to. Um, here's the problem, though. I'm going to try to be a safe cat here. So I'm going to assume things are, are going to go badly for us in some ways. So right now I'm going to play hearts and I'm going to protect clubs. Wow, they pitched a diamond. Wow, they pitched two diamonds. Oh, my gosh. So that's 11 diamonds that we can account for. And here's what we know. I, I mean, I would say almost for sure it's King X now here, right? Why would they pitch a diamond from any King holding, especially King third or King doubleton? And why would this player pitch a diamond having seen this diamond pitch come here, right? So, so this leads me to believe that we're, we're in a, maybe a spot of trouble um, with the diamond being wrong for us. Uh, what was the spade play initially? Wow, we could probably leave that there. Uh, I'm going to just play the nine of diamond. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, notice the ro <laughs> the robots hooked us up with a nice piece of information, and I didn't cash. I didn't have the guts. I'm gonna put it to cash the king of spades, folks. I'm not that much of a degenerate on this hand, but it could prove bad for us. We're gonna make only five, and we could have had a pretty good. I mean, less they could pitch badly, I suppose, right? They could pitch uh, down to like a club and and a spade. Um, doesn't look like they've done that though. There we go. All right, so 64.3%. Uh, yeah, the diamond could have been an entry, and, and the diamond would have been an entry for us at the end. The problem is, if the king of diamonds is over here to our left, folks, and it's king third, right? They pitch from king jack seven or something like that. Now when I play a diamond, I have to give it up, which means I have to protect that club for a club through, right? So I have the spade protection on the other side, the club protection here, and I have the diamond entry. So my... My thing is, once they pitch that diamond, sorry about that, that color bleed there, folks. Once they pitch that diamond, 
it looks like it's going badly for me because I don't expect the robots to do that. But they saw the finesse was winning and they only had two, so they figured it didn't matter. Um, did people make more? Yeah, there it is. We could have made all 13, folks, really. If, if we just played this carefully, we could have taken all five hearts, two spades, and then all the diamonds. Um, so that was 13 rippers we had on the offing for us, but we could only take five because... I gotta tell you, I'm a wimp, folks. I didn't go for it, uh, but we'll take we'll take this one for for 64.3. And notice uh, a lot of uh, a lot of it was just winning the bidding, also, right? People not not knowing that it's right to bid three no trump here. Uh, Got to be willing to do that with that sort of suit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The the bot usually isn't predisposed to doing stuff stuff that's good for us. <laughs> so you don't expect it to be going well for you when you see that diamond pitch. But in fact. It was going really well for us. All right, let's keep cracking, though. We're, in, we're still in a good spot, right? We still only played three boards. We're going to start with a heart here. Partner bids two hearts. What do you think, folks? Make your choice. No, no need for a poll here. I don't really have any other alternative bids that I would give you for this. But just make sure you're aware that this is a spot where you just pass, right? You would be willing to compete with a hand like this in occasion, and maybe, maybe they'll give you the opportunity to compete. Um, but here you don't need to, and if you buy it for two hearts, you're going to be safer, and that's what we've just done, right? So here, no need to go any further, especially when you just know there's no future in game for you. Wow, look at this hand. Partner has a pretty good raise, but we have another hand. We should call this uh, Transportation Nightmares because this is a hand where we're going to have trouble getting back and forth to in that north uh, chair because we only have one diamond in our hand. So we're going to have to do some work early. The other thing you should see here, very common, good way for extra tricks, shortness in a side suit spades and relatively short trump. All right, so in these situations, it's going to be good for us to try to realize some club roughs, or excuse me, spade roughs early in the nummy. And also, it's going to be a club here. Yeah, too good. The robots are too good. That exact that double dummy just put it in here. It's so hilarious. It said it would stink if they if they rise with the ace and lead a club. It's the robot. Of course they're going to do that, right? Because this is the absolute best defense for them. We haven't gotten in a the ability to establish our diamond suit yet and they're already firing a club i'm gonna duck this and hope they get it wrong right so i i want them to, yeah there we go we i wanted them to reconsider and now we have a chance to pitch a club unless they're roughing which would be a complete oh my god they were roughing no way this is ridiculous i was just I, as as we say things and during this hand they occur right so so this is super weird now we just lost the heart trick that we never needed to lose uh, because they're just roughing that second club. So now it's really important that we draw some trump. I'm going to save. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robot, for having that card. Uh, so now we should be able to take the rest. Okay, good. Thank God. We can claim. I'm going to get the heck out of there. 71.4%. Uh, so pretty good for us. But my goodness. Ducking that club hooked us up with a less less of a club loser now, right? If we if we let the Diamond Ace win it, they are going to take two clubs. So it did save us one, but they got it back by roughing in this hand. So 71.4. And again, tied with a chunk of people here. So uh, we have a lot of company in our general area here, and uh, we shouldn't be too far behind. If we can string together kind of an outlier score, we might be able to catch up quite a few spots. So currently in eighth place, 52.7%. And, uh, I mean, at least trending in a good direction from, from board three on. Uh, still a little tilted that I could have taken 13 tricks on the, on the third board there. But we are back at it. This is a flat 18. And just remember uh, checking into the rule book, folks. 3-3 three, three in the minors. doesn't matter the quality. We always open clubs, right? And then when we're 4-4, four, four, we always open diamonds. Uh, here we're going to show our 18-19 or for the robot. 17 18 balanced weird that they do it this way uh for you guys it should be 18 19 and just remember this this thing one banana one grape so one one anytime those are the first two levels of bids two no trump's going to show 18 19 balanced and that's just the way it is all right beautiful uh count your winners folks what are we looking at Ooh, double dummy this is a good question I never, ever, ever shade down for no Trump. You'll you'll see me open 14-point no Trumps all the time. 
upgrading. I never downgrade. When you have 18, you do not open one no trump. You're already above the maximum, which is 17 that partners should expect. So you never downgrade your no trump. Uh, so Wintertown, I have three spades. I have one heart and I have one diamond, right? So I have five tricks. Where are my extra tricks going to come from, folks? Well, they're going to come from diamonds and hearts, right? And maybe they come from clubs too, but we're not going to explore tricks in that suit ourselves, right? So in this situation, we're going to win a high honor, right? We're going to win the ace or the king here because we don't want to let them know that, you know, we're, we're really solid in this suit. And now I'm going to transport over to dummy while hopefully creating tricks. And there we go. We created some diamond tricks there. Now I'm going to win the king of diamonds. And I'm going to play a diamond to the dummy over there. And then, wow, they pitched the eight of hearts to my left. Here, we can cash the diamond now, uh, which I'm going to do, right? Or we can just leave it there for when we're back over there, all right? So we played the queen of diamonds. Lefty now has pitched a spade. So it looks like they're figuring out that, uh, that a club is probably a pretty good switch for them. I'm going to play a heart to the nine. And here, I'm finessing for the jack and the king at the same time. And wow, it's an embarrassment of riches. We're going to win this one. We're going to take another finesse for that same jack. And here they just hopped up with it. They know it's happening. And now we're just going to take all but the last trick. So if you want to be funky with your opponents, um, you know, you, you can play out all the cards like this and pitch clubs from dummy, right? The, the only card you have left could be a little fake out for them. Maybe they pitched the wrong stuff. Let's see. 75%. Let's First off, let's see where we climb up to ranking-wise. Okay, we jumped two spots to number six. And that's because we just cleared 75% along with a whole bunch of people with us, right? So it's just like a pack of people towards the top. Like I would guess the top six are within a few percentage. We're definitely behind, obviously, because of the bad board. We had a number two. But we're, we're catching up, it looks like. Take a look at this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys some choices here. Let's, let's get another poll. Let's see if you guys are with me again this morning. Make your bid here. We are going to give you that. We'll give you this. And I'm just going to throw some random stuff in there and see if I can trick any of you. And let's give you this. Okay, make your bids, folks. Make your bids. Two spades to you. It's funny, I think uh, later on today I'm, I'm giving a lesson about uh, Liebensall over week two bids, which I have to say, that might sound like a scary sort of convention, and the original Liebensall is much scarier. Uh, this convention is, is pretty damn good, the Liebensall over week twos. We're not going to use it here, uh, and it's because pass is clearly the correct bid. Thank you. This was this was the poll that was, hey, is the audience awake and ready to play? Uh, so pass is clearly right. We don't have a bid. Uh, if they opened two hearts, we would have the automatic takeout double, right? Even with only 12, this shape would be amazing. Here, they've opened two spades. That's one of our four card suits. And honestly, we only have 12 points. Th I was just going to say, this is so likely to go all pass because here's what we know. We have 12. This player probably has about nine maximum. That's 21. And now there's 19 points between these two hands, and they're probably pretty even, right? Because no one can have more than 12. Uh, this is an interesting one. We can lead a heart, which is getting our shortness on the table, or we can lead the king of diamonds. Um, leading a heart is interesting because we can start getting some roughs. But the problem with that is we likely have some natural trump tricks and we may have a chance for this rough later. This is one of those times where I might not lead a singleton because I have a, such a good secondary choice in diamonds. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the ball out of, out of your court and I'm going to lead the king of diamonds here. And I, I don't know if it's good news or bad news. That heart suit is lovely in dummy. Um, and it's weird they duck this. It looks like they probably only have two diamonds. Uh, and they have the ace queen of spades, let's say. They probably don't have the ace of hearts. They probably don't have the ace of clubs either. I think it's time to get a club on the table. And then we can maybe explore getting, uh, oh, they did have the ace of clubs to my right. Wow. Unless they ducked it, it's possible. Um, they might get our heart rough this way. Okay. 
So let's disrupt the communication in dummy. If they only have two diamonds to my left, I want to get them the heck out of there. And here they go. Now, now they've given us our rough over here. And now we can just play a diamond and safely exit the heck out of here. Uh, we probably could have played a low diamond there. That's a better idea because then we save an exit card for ourselves. Wow, really? Our partner does have the ace of clubs here? Is that right? Wow, that is so weird that they chose to do it this way. Uh, this doesn't matter for us. Why wouldn't you take the ace of clubs, partner? What's happening over there? That's just so weird. Uh, look at that heart situation. We we probably do okay by leading a heart as well. In fact, let's see. They, did the not down twos lead hearts right away? No, they led a diamond as well. And then they switched to a heart and diamond through. And now kind of a similar line from this point, except now they take the ace of clubs, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. So I, I I this play, this is just going to boggle my mind. Right, I don't know why we don't play third hand high, folks. I guess they think we're not leading away from a king. Um, but let me also just throw this out there. When when we know that our right hand opponent is the preemptor, right? We we definitely are going to assign them these two cards, most likely, right? The ace queen of spades. So the likelihood of them ever having an ace is minuscule. Now the robots. The robots will preempt with this sort of hand sometimes, so don't be surprised if you see it. But a human being is almost never going to preempt when they have ace, queen, ace, right? They're going to open one of the suit usually in those situations. So we can discount that, which means I can be aggressive with my choice of leads. I can lead away from a king here, right? I'm so unlikely to be blowing up a trick unless my partner ducks the ace of clubs. Uh, but I guess we, we got that trick back maybe in some degree, but we could have just had more tricks. Uh, so we'll get back to business here. We're in sixth place, though. We didn't drop a place, and we were exactly 50%. Let's see. Were there how many people? Three above us here. So that's that's and that's. Okay, very nice. Uh, two boards left. So we might. We don't have anything weird to do, unfortunately, on this hand. We're just going to open a heart. Um, but we'll see if we have any choices here. <laughs> heart of spade, two hearts. Yuck, right? So good support in spades. What's double here? Double is going to show too good of a hand. And notice, I, I don't mind doing this with the robots. This is why it's fun to play. Um, double is more than our opening hand that we have, 16 to 22 points. right? What would three diamonds be? A much better hand, obviously. So we just don't have a bid. right? We're just going to pass. Now it's going to go two spades. Now we might be able to do something like this, but it's still 16 to 17. Let's see what three diamonds is. Okay, this is more in the mix. But let's think about this. Do we want to be at the three level on this auction? Well, let's do that math again that we were looking at earlier. 13 points here. All right, bingo. Let's give this player 10. They made that cubit raise. That's 23. I don't know. Let's give this player 10. Kind of a uh, an average-ish overcall. 2033 partner has seven in these situations. However, the more player, the more points this player has, the less we have here. However, they did only bid two spades in response to this cue bid here. The other big piece of information we have is partner passed after one spade. Uh, if they had a bid to make, they certainly could have made it a negative double possibly for the miners. Uh, they had things they could say that they didn't um, and were vulnerable. Super weird. And we also know that the two times before where the opponents had chances to bid, the most of the opponents didn't bid, so this might be an opportunity to kind of reach outside the box and make a weird and aggressive three diamond bid. But I don't think I'm willing to do that. Uh, and I'll I'll give it to you guys. I've kind of I've said my piece here. I want you to make your bid. And and this again, this isn't a time I would really be considering bidding normally. I just know we're behind and we we only have two boards to make it up. Um, but honestly, this sort of this sort of choice is usually what leads to bad choices, but can lead to a really, really good choice, right? So the the real issue is, and I think Junaid is saying it, uh, partner could just have long clubs, right? So if we, well, first of all, we're not gonna double, that shows too many points, right? So we're, I'm giving you the two choices that I laid out there, pass and three diamonds. Um, the only reason we're allowed to do three diamonds now is because it's kind of just this lower range still, more of a shape bit, but here I could just be getting murdered in diamonds, which is why I'm happy that over 60% of you are choosing to pass. All right, good. Uh, we'll try to win it in the play here, or who knows, maybe 
Um, maybe we're just going to crush two spades and it's going to be pretty good. Uh, it looks like the choice to not bid diamonds wasn't too bad because King Jack fourth is to our right here. Um, so uh, the heart position wasn't going to be great for us either. It looks like uh, partner has some shortness and so does declare. So here we go. Let's uh, let's hope that some people did bid three diamonds and get, get cracked at it. Uh, Ace of spades. There they, they kind of don't know what's happening in diamonds, so we're going to help them out there. We're going to see if we can cash a heart. All right, we can. And now the question is, should we return a heart and give partner a rough? Or should we play? So if we return to heart right now, Declare can pitch a loser most likely, and partner may get a rough in spades. Does lefty have six spades? Um, not necessarily. All right, so lefty... Our partner could still have Trump, right? Playing a low spade to the ace is, I guess, not that abnormal here. I I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't want them to shake a diamond loser if I lead a heart, so I'm just going to kind of exit a club here and see what happens. My right, partner hops the ace there. Let's, yeah, now we can give them a rough. Um, the question is, should we cash ace of diamonds? No, let's see. All right, they roughed high. And now they hooked us up with the diamond. Now we can safely play the queen of hearts. Again, partner not doing anything over there. They had just a tiny trump. And it looks like they could have finessed us out of that spade. So it was nice that we got the rough there. And here we go. Okay. So defending, pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. 67.9%. Uh, and that's just for getting our tricks there. The... the the diamond, uh, or sorry, the, the club play through ended up being quite nice for us because we got our rough. How they beat it. All right, this isn't somebody that was that we've seen in the leaderboard before, but there was their heart lead, spade to the ace. Same thing we saw here, queen of diamonds. They did cash king of hearts like we did. They let a heart first, and then they were given the opportunity to get more roughs. And now they did. Did they do something weird here? They let, yeah, they let them score the queen of spades. Yeah, there it is. Uh, all right, down one, amazing score. We did the best we could there, I think, and we were tied with uh, a good chunk of people, right? So, again, fourth place. So we're, we're in fourth place with only 57%, but, man, we need we need like a, a barn burner of a score here, and it doesn't look, look like we're going to be gifted with one, unfortunately. Um, three hearts pass, four hearts. Uh, the three diamond bidders, let's see. The three diamond bidders got roughed up, people, and uh, the three heart bidders did even worse. So there's your three diamond bidders. Um, and this is the mistake one. Uh, when you bid three diamonds right away, you're going to convince partner you have extra points. This was the one we were considering right here. And it ends badly for you. You go down two when you were just holding two spades to one. And then, yeah, the three diamond right away bidders get really roughed up in hearts. So, yeah, we were right to consider it after after letting the first op opportunity go but uh, bidding then would have been a disaster for us so we're very lucky we avoided it and that means you guys of course made the right decision as usual <laughs> all right so let's get back to our last chance to excel and it's kind of brutal three hearts past four hearts it's like a, it's this is like a total guess here um we have a nice 14 uh we can double it should be takeout right and and partner should take it as such um the th question is, do we think we're going to make four anything or five of a minor with this hand opposite kind of partner's garden variety? Um, should should we pass? Should we do anything? I'm going to bring this to you guys first, and then I'm, we're going to do it. I, I may, in fact, do exactly what you choose, um, but I want to get your idea of, of what to do on this hand um, before, I, before I make a choice. So we're going to include double we're going to include pass we'll include this one as well and uh sure why not let's just give you a bunch of weird choices make your bid and we will we will see what we do on the other side of this this is a this shows you why preempting is an important part of your arsenal right you you should preempt when you have the opportunity because you make these sorts of decisions very difficult for your for your opponents, right? Uh, I don't know if that's automatic. Uh, so you're, you remember, folks, you're at the four level, right? And it's a it's a best hand tournament. So the the most partner can have here is uh, well, let's just give 
let's give some random stuff. Let, let's give these both eight points, right? So let's just assume they kind of have lower ending stuff. We have 14. Right? It means partner could have about 10 points. 10 opposite 14, that's game for sure. Uh, but what could this four heart bid be also, right? It could be a 13 count or a 14 count. And then you add this and then you give this player nine. Now it's looking like partner has four points. So the real tough part is, what the heck is East for heart bid? Are they, are they bidding this because they think they have a good chance of making or are they simply furthering the preempt? Um, it, it's super weird, right? And, and so that's why I'm, I'm saying that double is, in my opinion, is not automatic, right? Uh, picture four hearts opposite a seven count from partner or four spades or five diamonds, right? Here's the thing. We don't have any guarantee what partner's gonna do. I mean, pass might be, we might want to partner into pass when we double, even though we're telling them they can't. Uh, so here we go. Let's see. 68% of you. I, I think if it went three hearts pass pass to us, I think what Paul was saying is totally right. Three hearts pass pass or two hearts pass three hearts. I think double is a hundo, a hundo, right? It's like you're, you're getting in there at the four level though. It's, it's a little different, right? And, and it's also maybe we're getting four hearts, one trick for plus 50. And then getting uh, going down like 300 in spades or diamonds or something like that if we bid. Um, I, I'm going to pass. Uh, you guys wanted to double. Um, and that's why I'm going to pass also. I think, I think a lot of people at this point in the tournament will see this auction and will automatically think double because of their shape. So I think our pathway to success is that double's wrong. Now, I'm not saying this is the perfect bridge decision. This is me operating for hoping for a good score. Um, it turns out that this dummy has six, seven, nine, right? Because the king of diamonds is coming from dummy. So dummy had nine points, right? Let's let's construct this a little bit here. We had 14, that's 23. Let's give this player eight, that's 31. It means partner had about nine. If it's the right nine, we're, we're in a good spot. If it's the wrong nine, we, we may just uh, be super happy that we're just in four hearts. Uh, doesn't make any sense to do anything but play diamonds. And now we found out Declare only had one heart. And let's uh, do me a favor, everybody. Let's count West's shape. If any of you have ever taken my classes, I do some counting classes. So here's what we've discovered, right? We know that West has seven hearts. We also know that they only started with one diamond. All right, so that's where we are so far. Uh, so we're gonna win this ace of clubs. Um, it's interesting, partner could have king doubleton of spades in this one and maybe be getting a rough. Uh, I'm gonna explore that possibility. Uh, if that's stiff king to my left, I'm really upset, but I don't think it's likely to be singleton king because I saw a left-hand opponent only have one diamond. Um, if it's singleton king of spades, so I'm gonna throw up all over my computer <laughs> so, so here we go uh let's see if rob barfs <laughs> so, i'm just pitching diamonds because i know they don't have them i could pitch spades as easily and there we go thank you <laughs> thank you for having that so here uh we're beating hearts the question is were we making anything if we were to have bid uh look like spades were breaking badly for us we did achieve 64.3 percent so that means that leads me to believe that we did okay and we stayed in fourth place here, folks. I'm not sure why this isn't showing for you guys. There it is. That's weird that it uh, it showed up in a different spot. 58.48%. And there it was. <laughs> there was all of us in this in this weird spot. Uh, sorry, let me get to the right screen here. A chunk of us just kind of achieving the same scores and three players that were just crushing it, right? We saw the scores of a couple of these guys on a few boards. It was going to be super tough to catch them. But we'll take 58.48 and fourth place, right? Just doing battle with with a bunch of pairs just around that same number. So pretty good. Let's wait. Uh, I don't know if they've popped the results up for the other tables. I'm waiting for that because I want to see. I definitely want to sweat what they did, Madeline, for sure. Uh, and it's just it's just chewing on it right now. So let's let's give it a few moments. Uh, any questions or comments that you guys have, fire those out there. Look at look, we can just see what we could have made uh, initially. We didn't have a spade fit. What was partner going to choose if we doubled? I mean, maybe they pass, but I think they probably bid five clubs. Uh, let's find out. All right, there's four hearts, four hearts, four hearts. Uh, no, no, it looks like if we double, they pass. There it is. Ah, so we could have done amazing. 
we could have if we doubled we were going to get it 300 but my goodness what if they bid no yeah so there's the double so apparently if you do double they know enough to pass and you'll play that way those people that bid four spades get crushed lucky they weren't doubled right so we made i i think you guys made the best choice right we defended it the best we beat it two tricks um and we didn't double and double is just too scary guys especially with the robot in play they do some of the weirdest stuff of all time when you double already so making this spec double at the four level is rough but it was i think it was a very nice conversation and allison h thank you so much for that super chat on the way out really appreciate that and vintage learning thank you so much as well i i love doing this but it's so much better when gavin's here just because you guys know it's a we get to have a lot of fun together so we all miss him just i miss him just as much as you guys do but i'm so happy we still get to have fun together and have a little bit of us time when gavin's not around but he'll be back next week and here i think we did a, as good a job as we were going to do i'm a little tilted about a couple of boards like we we had a chance to take uh, 13 tricks here if i have the guts to do it and i can just not be crazy and bid on hand number two that was kind of aggressive but the rest of it was good and here again this hand looks amazing to double hearts at lower levels at the four level it's scary especially just because we just don't know what righty's four heart bid is and again in a non-best hand tournament it's even harder right so in these situations that's why we preempt right that's why we put that pressure on the opponents and make it tough for them to make those good decisions. Thank you guys so much. I will see you again next Wednesday and throughout the week in, uh, in the weekly challenge as usual. And have a great week at those tables, people. Do well. Make your finesses winners. And I'll see you back here for another fun hour of bridge next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.